the Benedictines have been here since 1920, with a long history before that. We were in Belgium since 1665, came here in 1920. And we, the, the nuns have been living here at the traditional Benedictine contemplative life, going back to St. Benedict, very early days in the church. And um, Benedictines living like that life, it's like basically a prayer, contemplation, and and with an outlet in hospitality of some kind, and our outlet has always been education. And we closed our school here 2010, after 90 years, and we had premises vacant, and we're looking for some partner who would be interested in using those premises that would enable us to be continuing the tradition of education, even though we were no longer in a position to run a school ourselves. We're just about to start work, construction work, on the renovation of a part of the abbey, which Notre Dame is taking over to transform it into an education centre for undergraduate students of Notre Dame doing summer study abroad programmes and various other conferences, courses, workshops of all kinds connected with Notre Dame. The Benedictine community has a long history of education here at Calamar Abbey and we saw this as a perfect marriage of values and pursuit for higher education. We're a Catholic university and we're committed to the Catholic ethos and the Benedictine community has a wonderful way about themselves, uh, especially when it concerns the education for um, young people. We're expanding from our urban base in Dublin on Marion Square to the west, I suppose you can say, Connemara, and to the heart of Connemara. And it is a big step for us because we're going from the urban to the rural. It's a significant investment that we're putting in. We're completely refurbishing the wing at St. Joseph's. It will be uh, 18 bedrooms, which will be able to sleep up to 44 students. We'll have classroom and seminar facilities as well as catering facilities. We're looking to open the centre in spring of 2016. Yeah, well, this is a day of great significance uh, for the west of Ireland, not just for Kyle Moore, for the Benedictine Order, or for the, uh, for the Kehoe Nocton Institute, but for the future. Because this setting here, which is quite unique uh, internationally, um, brings the marriage of Ireland and America to a different level. The students who will come here from, from Notre Dame, which is an outstanding university, uh, will get an understanding of the flavour and the personality and the history of our people and will carry that impact that it makes into their business lives for many years to come. So credit is due to everybody, uh, to Kyle Moore, to the Order, to the, um, to the Nocton uh, Kehoe Institute, to all concerned uh, for future generations of students who will come here. The programme has been very successful to date, but this brings it to a new dimension. Notre Dame is a powerful university uh, with uh, the strongest um, faculty of Irish studies in the United States. So to come here to Kyle Moore, which is quite a unique setting, I think will make an outstanding impact for years to come.